Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to look at how to make a Lil Sky style beat in BandLab's free online DAW. I'm going to begin by selecting a sound to create the track's musical bed, specifically the lo-fi piano patch. I want a laid back, slightly melancholic feel, so I sequence an F sharp minor 7 chord that plays for two bars, followed by a D major 7 that plays for two bars. You'll notice that these chords share three of the same notes, and this gives us a consistent feel that flows smoothly between the chords. Before we add any more elements, I'm going to turn the tempo down to a chill 88 BPM, and I'm also going to set the key of the track to F sharp minor, our first chord. This won't change any of the MIDI data we've entered, but it will tell BandLab to automatically pitch shift any musical loops we add to the correct key. Next I'm going to create a lead line to accompany the piano chords. Tape Saw in the Synth Leads category has a lo-fi feel that works well with the piano, and it features a touch of vibrato that when played alongside the more static piano gives us a pleasing, natural sounding movement in the harmonics. For the first two bars, this lead plays an arpeggiated F-sharp minor suspended 4 chord followed by a D major 7. The suspended 4th that isn't present in the piano chord gives a little touch of a mysterious feel, and again you'll notice both chords have 3 out of 4 notes in common. The lead sound is a little dry on its own, so I add a delay filter echo effect which enhances the vibrato and gives us a really rich sound. Let's add some reverb to the lo-fi piano too, using the Reverb Studio Reverb effect which helps it sound a bit more natural and atmospheric. I'm also going to turn down the levels of the tracks to negative 3 dB to give us some more headroom for other elements. We need a beat, so I add another virtual instrument track and set this to drum pads and trap kit. I sequence a beat with claps and pitched up snares on the second and fourth beats of the bar and kicks on the first, sixth, seventh, ninth, and tenth, sixteenth notes. I duplicate these out for another bar by holding Alt on Windows or Option on Mac and dragging them over. The closed hats play on 16ths but don't play on the snares and feature a 30 second note roll at the end of the first bar. You can set the project snap to 30 second notes using the View Grid Size menu. For the bass sound, I've selected synth bass 808 bass. This is a straightforward 808 bass sound that plays along with the kick, first on F sharp, then on D. I turn the beat and bass down to negative 3 dB as well. Currently the track sounds a little clean, so let's dirty it up a bit. I open up the Loops browser, select the Loops tab at the top, and search for Vinyl Noise. This loop, Vinyl Acetate Noise, has a perfect crusty feel for this track. I put it on a new track, shorten it to a bar in length, then duplicate it over just like I did with the drum beats. I turn this track down to negative 6 dB so it's not too loud. Let's add a vocal effect to keep things interesting. I clear the search field in Loop Browser and set the search filters to Voice and Hip Hop Trap. 
Black Cat Vox 1 has a cool trippy feel, and because we set the key of the track earlier, it's automatically pitch shifted to the correct key when we drop it into the project. Let's add another abstract vocal loop. Redux Vocal Effects 1 fits the bill perfectly, and we'll duplicate it out for another bar. And then I turn both tracks down to negative 3 dB. Now that we have our elements, let's make an arrangement. I kick things off with just the piano and lead, adding the vinyl atmosphere and hi-hats after four bars. The beats and bass drop at the start of bar nine and play for eight bars. At the start of the next section, the vocals are added and the first two bars of the beat are removed to create a false breakdown effect. After this, we have an actual 4-bar breakdown, then repeat the same 16-bar drop section as before. For an outro, we have 8 bars of the piano and lead, plus the hats and vinyl atmospherics. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. Again, this is Aaron for Ben Lab, and I'll see you again next time.